in the BBC's Rana Jawad, who's following developments from neighbouring Tunis. Rana, a very complicated situation, but tell us what just happened. Indeed. Uh, well, what happened is uh, we saw a fresh statement on the official website of the Tripoli-based National Salvation Government that is not recognized by the international community, effectively denying the statement that was run by another ministry under it uh, yesterday night, saying no one has stepped down and ordering all ministers uh, to uh, remain um, in their place. Uh, what we understand has just happened is that this Salvation Government has effectively also now split down the middle. There are some ministers who want to break away from it and obviously uh, the prime minister and others who are siding with them who don't want to do that. Situation is just getting more complicated. Uh, now the BBC's uh, Tulanana Bohela has been speaking to the AU envoy to Libya, Jakaya Kikwete, uh, just before the latest developments and he said that he was still hopeful that there would be a solution to Libya's problems. We want the whole of Libya to, to be united now behind the government of national accord. And, and if we, I, I, I don't believe it, 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 it will be forever. You were part of a meeting with the Constitutional Draft Assembly a few weeks ago. Um, what were the results of those talks? We spoke to them, we made appeals to them to give the Libyans a constitution. In fact, when in, in my speech, I made an, a passionate appeal to them to keep the, the, the March 24th deadline. Well, it has not happened, but we still have got to be to bear with them because there, 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 there is no alternative to that. We cannot say to hell with the Constitution Drafting Assembly. If we have the two governments pledge loyalty to, to, the, to the Government of National Accord, that is big progress. And then, of course, then, then the Government of National Accord and all of us supporting them should work on reaching out to the, to the various militia leaders, but also to the tribal leaders. Because in some areas, it's only the tribal leaders who are in charge. Are you hopeful for there to be a sustainable solution to Libya's problems so that um, it can return to what people say its former glory? This is the best we have for now. This is the best that the people of Libya have for now. This government is, trans is, trans is, is a transitional, a transitional arrangement for one year, can be extended for another one year, and then hoping that thereafter, when everything has, has, has gone, gotten back to normal, to normalcy, we'll be able to, to get the new political dispensations that, that invo involve everybody. It is doable, as long as there is cooperation and on, on the part of the Libyan people themselves. So a 